video for Stitchmania 2020. My name is Zakia. Um, did I say that this is the Lady Wing Designs channel? You know where you are. You're on YouTube. <laughs> You'll know uh, by the time you click on this video. But anyway, my name is Zakia. Um, you can find links below in the description box for everything um, that I mention, as well as uh, where to find me on the on the internet. So I hope everyone is doing well. You basically, well, not just, but um, at the end of the last vlog video, you would have seen me um, in the same position. So we're basically just picking up right after that. Um, sorry if there's like some background whirring or anything. Um, the laptop is uploading that video now. So, okay. Um, I guess that I can show you the pattern um, cover photo again, just since this is a new vlog, might as well. So, um, oh, I should probably mention oh, when we are. It is Wednesday, May the 6th, 2020, um, and it's exactly 9 o'clock, right, right as I'm looking at the time. So, I've got tons of time uh, left in the day, it's still in the morning, so we've got lots of time to get some good stitching in. So last time we talked, I uh, had just picked up Mexicanita by uh, Yanni Stitcher, and I am working in her hair, trying to get done with that before moving into the dress. So I haven't, I haven't done any stitching since <laughs> the last video, so this is the same thing you saw at the end of that clip, but this is where we're starting from. I am using this so I looked at the magical stitches prompts uh, to help to help me decide how many stitches I was going to put on this project before I sat it down and go back to Snape at least for a little bit um, I think it would be fun to go ahead and get this one finished so it may be staying on the Q snap for a little bit but anyway so I looked over there for the task for this week and it's a multiple little task and each one is a hundred stitches because I am working on a whip rather than a new start so I just said however many tasks she would fit for that's how many um, you know times a hundred so that's how many stitches I'll do and I would have been able to use her for five tasks and I say would have been able to because I'm not actually gonna post over there um, I'm not actually like really participating. Um, I'm just using Magical Stitches as motivation to get some projects done. Um, I'm using the task rather. Um, yeah, because I always love the task for that. I would definitely get, get progress on whips. So kind of using that as motivation. So anyway, I'm at about the halfway point on that. Um, so 250 stitches left to do. I think it's actually like 270. Um, and then I will be putting that down and uh, moving into a new project or a different project. We're going to go back to Snape. So yeah, that um, is basically the start of this vlog. I will, I'm looking around to see what's around me, but I don't really have anything else to start talk about right now. I haven't done anything. So uh, yeah, I will get stitching and talk to you later. Hey peeps, so um, a little detour from the stitching. I'll show you where I got to on May Canita when I get back to boyfriend's apartment. But um, I had a viewer who left me a little um, a tip or advice, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I, I don't remember your name. I'm so sorry. Um, but you know who you are. Um, they left a comment on the last whip update um I, so i guess i mentioned needing to wash my socks and wanting to just toss them in the washing machine um because no i do not generally remember what i talk about <laughs> in these videos um but yeah so they left a comment saying that they usually turn their socks on uh on the wrong side these are super washed socks so they are meant to be able to wash to be washed in the machine um, I have a pair that's not super wash. It's East Frisian wool. Those will get 
hand washed um but that's fine because i have some sweaters and things that need to be washed so yeah um here are almost all of my socks um in a giant pile they're all on the wrong side and we're just gonna toss them all in the washing machine and let them wash and um yeah i'm gonna knit and watch a podcast while this happens so all right i will um talk to you guys in about an hour hello so we're back uh i apparently couldn't decide if i was gonna say hey or hello anyway um what time is it i have no idea <laughs> we're still on wednesday it's about 4 30 in the afternoon um, I'm still at my apartment, so you can see all of these socks are now uh, laid out on the bed. Well, there are blocking mats, which are really just children's play mats, whatever. Use what works. Um, it, it's a lot cheaper, $13 at Walmart, people. Um, but anyway, so I put my blocking mats on the bed and then laid the socks out on top of them. Um, so those are now drying. Pardon all the shaking because I'm holding you guys in my hand again. I'm on my tablet. And I figured I would show you also where I got on my hitchhiker. So um, this shawl I am knitting in an impromptu cowl with Michelle Bendy. Um, we started these this past Sunday together. So you can see I've placed a progress keeper on there. Um, that is where I was the last time that y'all saw it so I'll move that up after I finish recording this clip and the yarn that I'm using is hypnotic yarn in the um, if one can two can colorway two can like the bird whoops so there's the yarn you can see in there I'm keeping this in my little sock sack from Diana Couture um, which I got from a friend so yeah um, I'll try to find the Diana Couture shop though, um, if that still exists and link it in the description box. So, um, I think that that's what I wanted to say for right now. Oh, um, the hitchhiker pattern is by Martina Bim. Beam. Can't, I can never remember how you pronounce it. Um, I, oh, that reminds me, I left off a, a link in the last video description box, so I'll have to add that. Um, but I will link Martina's uh, design page on Ravelry in the description box below. Okay, I think that that's it. Um, join in the Hitchhiker Cal with me and Michelle and others. It's not like we're the first people to use the hashtag. Um, it's just hashtag Hitchhiker Cal, K-A-L. Okay, yeah, so I am going to... Um, get my stuff together and head back to the boyfriend's apartment so I can get back to stitching. See y'all soon. And here we are, uh, back at the boyfriend's by the power of technology so quickly. <laughs> um, but anyway, so let's show you where I got to. Oh, never mind. I put it inside the, um, Bitsy Bob. I was like, oh no, where's the needle? It's fine. I did that on purpose. Um, yeah, so here is where I got to. Of course, the colors are blowing out like mad because <laughs> there's actually, like, beautiful sunlight for once. So, darn it. I don't like having to um, put pictures in, but I will do it because <laughs> these colors are so pretty and they're not, they're not showing up at all correctly. So, and actually, I've already taken a picture of this uh, for Instagram later. Anyway, focus. So... Um, as far as progress, you can see that I did finish her hair out. I do need to go back up here um, and stitch. Uh, there are some stitches for the outline of her face, and then you back stitch that. Um, so I do need to go ahead and get that done. And then, although, I don't know, I, I also kind of just like it without a face or anything. So we'll see. Um, Hmm, maybe I'll just leave it faceless. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, I started working in on... Oh, that's better. Maybe? Okay, that's better. I just had... I think I just had to get close. Eh. <laughs> it's better than before, but it's still not exactly the right colors. Um, 
But yeah, so you can see I started working on the straps of her dress. None of these are actually done because I needed some colors. Um, so I did start working with that green down into her dress. So while I was at my place, um, I, well, the, these are the three colors that I needed, um, the yellow, the orange, and uh, the blue. And then I am kind of running low on the skein of uh, 666 that I have for this project, which I actually didn't have. I thought I had all the colors in here that I needed for this project, and I totally didn't obviously, because I had to get some colors, um, but yeah, so, thankfully I had a skein of 666 in, uh, letters from Hogwarts, which, oops, if you remember, is in the same, uh, those flosses are in the same floss buddy, floss buddy flip as, um, Snape. So, speaking of Snape, uh, which these are the colors that I'm using for him, getting totally blown out. Anyway, um, so here is where we are starting on Snape. I haven't worked on this yet today, so um, hopefully this will get a lot of progress. You can see I still need to fill in a little bit on this block, and then I will be coming back up here to start working. So that is what I'm about to get started on. Um, knowing me, I probably won't do any type of check-in uh, again today. That seems to be the theme. So I'll probably just check in again in the morning. Um, we'll see how it goes. I might, who knows, I might do a little clip or something. Uh, but yeah, that's where I am. I love this. You can kind of see like the little random strings of hair that are hanging off from his head. Um, kind of like, that's like the, look at this, perfect. <laughs> uh, you can kind of see, you know, like the little strands of hair here on, in my head. Um, that's basically what that is. Like just the little wisps of hair that, yeah, I love it. Oh, I love it. So I've started getting into his hair and we're going to see if we can get to his face today. That would be super awesome. So I'm going to go get stitching and I will catch up with you guys at some point. Okay, so we're back and um, I am going to show you what I got accomplished with the rest of yesterday. So it is uh, right at 8.30 on May the 7th, Thursday. Oh, that's what I was supposed to be doing, food gravy. <laughs> so, um, I think, I'm pretty sure I showed you May Kanita, I did, and then uh, the rest of the evening I was working on Snape. So, I don't know if I mentioned yesterday, I feel like I probably didn't. Uh, did I even talk about May Kanita yesterday? Okay. I'll, I'll do it in a second. So, <laughs> Yesterday evening I worked on, oh gosh, okay, that happens more times than you know. I'm just glad it was on camera for once. <laughs> so uh, I worked on Snape and I'm holding the picture here uh, so that you can kind of compare. So uh, you can see I've just just started to get into uh, the, the shadows on the left side of his face there. So yay it's looking really good you can see on the on the far left side i've uh started <clears throat> can, can i do this yes you can see i've uh just started uh coming down into that dark area there so <coughs> Ooh. uh yeah so and that is where I am. I'm super excited to get to the other side of his face. Um, I think it's going to be interesting once I, I don't know if, I might have to move, I don't know if you can see it that well on the screen, but you can actually see like the little light of his eye, uh, um, of his right eye, it's the one on the left side of the picture, but um, 
yeah, you can actually kind of like see his eye over there. Uh, maybe not that well on screen, but I think that's going to be fun once I get to it. So I am, oh my gosh, guys. <laughs> okay. Anybody else do this? It's not just me, right? <laughs> maybe not during filming because other people seem to be more coordinated, but <laughs> in real life, right? Somebody just totally like karate chopping themselves in the neck with their Q snap, right? Anyway, um, if not, that's okay. Um, <laughs> I'm a klutz by nature, so this is not that surprising. Oh, I just love staring at this, y'all, because I can see it. Like, it's, it's so hard. Like, there, these shadows up here is greens and browns and, like, khakis. Yeah. So, it's nice to be able to see it in the screen and know that it's coming out okay. So, um, details, because I'm not sure if I mentioned them this time. Uh, this pattern, I'll show you the screen again, whoops, is Severus Snape, um, sometimes I'll say Always Snape or Always Severus, I think I just basically call it Snape now, um, but it's Severus Snape from Sarah Bowman, um, or Bowman, and she is the Cross Stitch Salon. Um, on Etsy and on Facebook. This is a free pattern. Um, <clears throat> it's on her Facebook page. She has a few other free ones there as well, which actually is a good segue. There were some other things that I wanted to remember to mention to y'all. Um, so since this was a free pattern, um, I don't know. I just, I didn't want to just like, oh, free pattern, cool. And then you know, not support the designer, um, cause I was totally ready to pay for this. Uh, when Amy told me about the pattern, she showed me the pattern first and then told me it was free. Like I was, I was ready to pay for the pattern. Um, so yeah, I still wanted to support. So I went over to her Etsy shop and, um, I found this pattern that I absolutely loved. So this is, uh, she just has sushi cross stitch. It's one of two that she has, but I decided to go with this one because it has the chopsticks on it. And, um, yeah, if I'm eating sushi, I must have chopsticks, period. Um, yeah, no other way. So, um, I bought that little pattern. And then, since we're doing retail therapy, I also, <clears throat> I think that this person... I saw, okay, pause, I will link um, Sarah's Etsy Facebook and her Instagram if I remember because on Instagram she has a different name. I think it's Cross Stitch Fanatic, um, but yeah, I'll make sure that I link all of those in the, in the uh, description box. So then I was on Instagram yesterday, day before, and I, uh, they're all bleeding together, um, but anyway. I saw, ran across someone's account, and oh, I don't remember, I don't remember if their Etsy shop is the name as, is the same as their Instagram handle, um, but on Instagram, they are cross stitch for you, and I think it's fairly obvious, so, first of all, oops, there's the, uh, name of the Etsy shop, I'll make sure I link it below, but, um, yeah. I, it's fairly obvious why I bought this, right? It's a uh, elephant head with monarch butterfly wings as its ears. Like, how could I not? So I actually saw, um, she has a, this is actually butterfly elephant too. She has a, the first one um, is like blue wings with uh, like orange, maybe yellow accents in there. But when I, and I was gonna like change that one to be kind of like a monarch and then I, kept scrolling on her Instagram page and happened to see this one and I was like, yep, yep, we're going to buy it right now. So, uh, I got this one and I, um, I do plan to change the elephant head to grays instead of browns. And then I also bought from her, um, what's it called? Sorry, sorry, I'm like flashing this, uh, Harry Potter spells, which is what it is, uh, from the same person, cross stitch for you. And let me click on the picture, so. That is what that one looks like. It's just a list of uh, different Harry Potter spells. 
The one that I know I'm definitely going to change, or actually there are two, maybe three, that I know I'm going to change. So the first one, Avada Kedavra, is getting changed to uh, a green, maybe even a bright green. I don't know if I'll do this green in the pattern or if it'll be a brighter green, but that Avada Kedavra is getting changed to green because when you cast the spell, uh, there's, a, there's a green flash of light. Um, let's see, Nox, I don't, okay, I, this wasn't even one on the list just now, but Nox might get changed only because I'm thinking about changing Lumos to yellow because Lumos, uh, brings light. So yeah. Um, and maybe Nox will be changed to purple. Nox is right there. Um, what was the other one I was going to change? Obliviate, I might change to gray. Uh, to obliviate is to take away someone's memories. Um, yeah, so I might change that one to gray. And then what was the other one? Honey Kadabra, Olivier, Olivier, oh my gosh. <laughs> no, I think that's it. Um, and then I might, on here when Guardian Leviosa is two different colors, that will probably just be one color. Actually, that'll be perfect. So I will change Leviosa to, anyway, uh, <laughs> I'll change it to uh, the green and Lumos will be yellow. So that'll just get moved. Perfect. <laughs> now I just have to remember all this <laughs> whenever I start stitching it, which actually that one is planned. Um, it's on black in in the model, and I'm going to stitch it on the black Ada uh, that I'm currently using for ink circles. There's enough of it. I've already measured it out. That's how that's how in love with that pattern I was. So whenever I finish the ink circles piece, I'm going to just move to a different section of the fabric and start on that one. Um, okay, so that was retail therapy that I needed to mention. Oh, okay, that was the other thing. So, I, let me get to my channel. Okay, so yesterday I, um, I went through and I created a few new playlists. So, well, let me go back in case... <clears throat> So when you go on YouTube, whether it's on mobile or, um, wow, my lips are dry, um, <laughs> whether it's on mobile or uh, on an actual computer, it doesn't matter. So when you go to my channel, um, you can see up here, navigation, there's home videos, which is where it's just a straight list of the videos, and then playlist. So uh, the ones that were already there were Craft Mania from last year, it's only two videos, um, Arbitrary August from last year, and the Craft With Me videos also have their own playlist, and that's been a thing from the beginning uh, since I started those. So the ones that are new, uh, this is the Stitch Mania 2020 uh, playlist, so as I add the vlogs to the channel this year. I'll make sure to add them to that playlist in case you want to go back and watch or if you missed something they're all there. Um, then I also went back and I made a knitting podcast playlist and floss tube episodes. So um, for those of you that have been around a little bit or maybe you've perused the channel um, you will have seen that I used to have Lady Wing Crafts podcast. That's when I was knitting enough that I could just have knitting uh, yarny focused episodes. So um, I don't really do those anymore. Basically, it's all floss tube now. Um, we'll get to that in a second. But um, yeah, so in case anyone wants to binge all of the knitting episodes and you don't want to scroll back through the channel or anything, because those last few were very sporadic. Uh, yeah, but they're all in the playlist so you can head there and uh watch those and then same thing with the floss tube playlist the ones that are on the floss tube playlist are the ones on the channel that say ladywing stitches floss tube number blah 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 
So I was thinking about this when I was making the playlist, actually before I made the playlist, and I was just thinking, the whip updates are still basically floss tubes, like, I'm not knitting enough that, that it's anything else, like, it's still basically a floss tube, so what do you guys think? Should I, um, should I just add the whip update videos? Because, I mean, you'll see that I didn't keep going with the numbering. I think I was at floss tube 15, and then when I changed the name to whip updates, for some reason, I thought that meant that I should just start over in the numbering because it was a different name, because that's how my brain works. Um, but, like, they're all still basically floss tubes, so should I create a different playlist with whip updates, which seems kind of ridiculous, um, or should I just add them to the floss tube episode playlist? Because they're basically all floss tube, and now I'm just showing a little bit of knitting. Um, yeah, I don't know what to do there, but it seems weird that I have these playlists and like my later videos aren't on any of them so yeah so let me know what you think below in the comments um should i start a whip update playlist or do the whip updates go on the floss tube playlist it really is still floss tube y'all so okay th i think that's everything i want to talk about for right now you will have seen or obviously because i haven't edited them in now but they'll be there <laughs> um I washed my socks yesterday, well the machine washed my socks, and then I laid them out to dry. And I'm beyond sure that they're dry now, so at some point today I will be going over there to fold them all up. Uh, I don't really know where I'm going to put them though, I need to really figure that out. Because um, the drawer that I had them in, it was a shared space between my shawls and, whoops, and my socks, but uh... The shawls have completely taken over. Like, I was shoving uh, shawls in there the other day to try to get it to close. So, I don't think my socks are going to fit back in there because I have quite a few socks, as you can see. So, yeah. Maybe, we'll, we'll see. Maybe I'll have a little clip where I figured that out. Who knows? Um, but yeah, okay, I have taken 15 minutes to chat at y'all, and that's cool, but I want to stitch now, <laughs> so I will check in with y'all hopefully sometime around midday. So we are back. It is uh, May the 8th. Oh crap, train. Okay, so <laughs> I think it's gone now. Um, so okay, I think I was about to tell you that right the next day, it's May 8th, um, it's right after noon. Oh crap, which means I'm late for this Instagram live. Um, so for those of you that are wondering, um, Laura from the Knit Girls podcast, um, it's a knitting podcast, uh, she is Lala Knit on Instagram, and she has been doing Instagram Lives every day, um, every weekday. I think she said she's going to stop doing it on Saturdays now, but she has been doing Saturdays before. Um, oops. Every Friday is um, just a general chit-chat hangout day with Amy Florence of the Stranded Podcast, um, who has also been doing daily videos. Um, hers are on YouTube, though. She uploads them every day. And yeah, and she started uh, March the 20-something, I think, or March the 17th. Anyway, she started mid-March, um, and she's still going. So yeah, uh, both of those are good places to check out some good entertainment if you need it every day. Um, but yeah, okay, let me hurry this along so I can go catch this live, because uh, they are unashamedly two of my favorite people ever, just ever. Oh my gosh, I love them, and I've gotten to hug them both in person, and they're just, they're just amazing. Um, yeah, so I guess I'll stop there for now. I picked this up when the, when the train started coming by. 
So I did show this to y'all uh, last night. I knit on it just, I ended up going back to my apartment again <laughs> yesterday um, so that I could pick out some yarn for a test knit that I'm signed up to do now that's due in exactly a month from today. So um, I want to use, I think, I don't know if this cable is long enough, but regardless, um, I need a needle for, <laughs> for the test knit. It's a, it's a shawl. So I'm, I brought my hitchhiker back with me to the boyfriend's apartment so that I can hopefully get, you know, a few minutes just like now, get a few minutes in, um, every once in a while so it can hurry up and be over with so I can start this other one because the test knit that I'm doing, that shawl is way larger. So that's where I am. This marker hasn't been moved yet. That was the last time that y'all saw it. Not yesterday, but you know, but whenever before. Um, so I will go ahead and move that marker up again. And then um, actual update for yesterday. The only thing that I really worked on, of course, was Snape. So I'm going to hold it back here so you can just look at it. Um, I don't know if y'all can tell from that far away, but his eyes started popping up, which I'm super excited about. I can see it um, when I look at it and like hold it um, like out away from myself because I can see it in the main picture, kind of like where you know the little white of that one eye that's in the shadows. You can you can kind of see it in the picture. Um, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure that I've found it here. But regardless, super excited. You can see the crease in his forehead there. So now this is the lighter side of his face that I've started. Um, not all of this is filled in. I just started on a new diagonal, um, and then I remembered I needed to film this clip. So I finished this diagonal this morning. I think I had these three boxes. Finished that, starting a new one, and um, this is the beginning of his hair on this side. So all of this, um, or like the rest of this box, is the lighter half of his face it yeah anyway I'm trying to like it doesn't matter yeah anyway go back a few minutes I'm pretty sure I hold the picture up next to it anyway so that's what I've worked on um, I'm going to keep working on that stitch count mania is at a total of 4025 stitches so I mean, you know, I guess I'm behind if we're going off of the fact that I'm supposed to do a thousand stitches a day, but really my goal for Stitch Count Mania now is just to finish this project, so we'll see where I get to. Um, I would like to at least finish this top half of the project, which is basically what's going to fit in the Q-snap, so we'll see we'll see how that works but um, okay I am going to hop off and I will check in with y'all again um, hopefully sometime later today it might just be another film clip of where I am instead of us chatting so all right until then Hey y'all, so we are back for a Saturday check-in, um, kind of later in the day because it's Saturday and the boyfriend was here um, until recently. He went to run errands, so this is the perfect time for me to catch y'all up on stuff. Um, yeah, so it's Saturday, May the 9th. It's right after 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, okay, so yesterday, Thursday... <laughs> It was a really tough day. I worked on Snape a little bit and then just could not keep the mojo. I just wasn't feeling it. So I switched to um, a different project. This one is being kept in my, in one of my Love You More Studio sleeves. Um, and it is Ink Circles, The Queen That Was. This was a market release this year. Oops, let's not show you the pattern. So I only did just a little bit on this, um, there you go. So I worked on filling in more of the bones with the accrue. So I think I finished the rest of this one and I finished up his face, added his teeth, um, 
yeah and then I started in on this bone so you can see I just I got tired of it pretty quick so uh, yeah I just stopped so that's where I am definitely when I pick this up the bones will get done and then that color is finished and the only thing that's left is the um, greenery around around her uh, bones and, and skull so we're getting there I just need to um, you know actually work on it that's the way you finish things so that is that it's on 16 count black Ada with um, DMC some of them are called for some of them are changed so then um, after I kind of got over that one I went to uh, some knitting because I thought well maybe I just don't need to be stitching right now so let's switch crafts and maybe that'll help so um, I am knitting the can you even see it <laughs> um, I am knitting the Rachel top by Veronica Joe who is the dyer behind yarn on the house yarns um, yeah so hopefully you could kind of tell there it's um, it's designed to be knit in cotton or I don't know I mean I guess you could knit it in whatever you wanted but I specifically when I was searching for patterns to use with this yarn I specifically looked up patterns that used cotton um, yeah I wanted a nice summer garment because I live in Alabama and I'm from Tennessee and even in Tennessee the summers are unbearable so um, yeah I also do not like being super hot I hate being cold even more but you know anyway so um, I worked on this I don't remember where I was when I picked it up that's not what this is marking um, yeah I, I don't remember I might have actually been somewhere near this marker though when I did pick it up I'm not uh, I, I truly don't remember y'all but um, yeah so this is where I am right now this is a bottom-up sweater so um, I had a pretty big cast on not that big a deal just takes time um, but yeah that's where I am you can see the lace pattern there is really starting to show well now that I've done it a couple times and then I love the side panels um, there I, I love this stitch so I'm all about texture stitches I really love them so that's that you can kind of see there and only kind of if you're really looking in the middle the pattern kind of stops for a second because I accidentally uh, repeated one of the rows oh, yeah and it should have been the other one but I totally could have like dropped down and fixed it because I noticed it on the next row and I just didn't feel like it <laughs> so it, nobody's gonna be able to see it it'll be at the bottom of, of the garment like down by my hips so not worried about that uh, the yarn that I am using I am keeping in oops, I'm keeping in this skein coat from that's what she calls them skein coats um, I've I feel like I've heard another name for them but I can't um, I don't remember right now there are a couple different people that make these though and this one's from precious knits shop on um, no, she has her own website. It says .com. So that's that. I'm knitting these with my um, favorite needles ever, Chagu's Red Lace. Um, these are the Twist Interchangeables. Yeah. Oh, I was talking about the yarn and I never said it. This is Crete Garden Crafts in their 100% Pima Cotton uh, base. And I think the colorway is just neutral. So that was that. I worked on that um, most of last night, maybe. Uh, I think I did go back to stitching at some point. I really can't remember. But when I got up today, I was definitely in the mood to stitch. So we are back to Snape. And you can see he is getting his face. 
I love it. So you can kind of see his nose here. Um, his other eye is starting to come in. I still don't know if you guys can... Anyway, I, I mean, you know anatomy, right? People have two eyes, so... <laughs> I mean, you know that there's another eye over here. I feel like I can actually see it. Uh, yeah, I just think it's difficult to... On camera. No idea if y'all can see that or not. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm totally, I'm, I'm feeling very Snape today. So, not like, <laughs> could we use that to mean, like, you feel bitter or whatever? I don't know what word, I don't know what adjective you want to insert there, but that's not what I meant. <laughs> I'm just feeling like working on him today for sure. So, plus I always want to do BAP Saturday, not that, it's a BAP, it's a full coverage piece. It's bigger than some of my other stuff. Anyway, I am working on this right now, and um, I'm about to get on the International Virtual Knit Nights uh, on Zoom for our Saturday meetup, so looking forward to that. I will, um, of course, have links to all of the shops and the groups and the people that I mentioned and everything um, in the description box below. Remember, the IVKN is a paid, um, it's a subscription-based VKN, so just remember that. Um, you do, like, there are questions to answer on the Facebook. Um, you'll kind of have a chat with the host, um, Phil and Elaney. They're in Greece, but they're amazing. I, um, yeah, I just love that group. We're totally family. So you do have to pay for it, but it's totally worth it. Um, they use that money to pay for the uh, subscription, the Zoom subscription. So, okay, enough rambling. Uh, I think that's all of the updating I needed to do. Can't think of anything else. So I am going to um, go stitch and chat and hopefully I'll film like something, I don't know, later tonight, um, maybe to show you guys where I get to tonight. Who knows, but okay, time to stitch. I will see you later. Sunday, May the 10th, so happy Mother's Day um, to all the mothers out there, however, you're a mother. Um, yeah, so I am pretty sure that I was close to this point uh, in the little clip that I showed you guys last night when I was talking to Amy of Creativity by Gidge, but yeah, here's where I got to on Snape. Um, I finished that diagonal and then I called it a night. So a lot of work done yesterday. It was 1,404 stitches yesterday, so that was fun. I finally had a day where I got a thousand stitches, so that was nice. Um, excuse all the moving, y'all are like kind of sitting on my chest here. So today I am going to work a little bit on, or not a little bit, I'm starting out with ink circles, the queen that was today. It's blowing out, of course, but you can see I'm almost done with the accrue. I just have to fill in the rest of this bone, and then I'm going to start working on the greenery and stuff around her. So that's what I'm working on today. My um, phone turned off, of course but I am, there we go, I am catching up with test stitches, um, yeah, I started, I subscribed to her a little bit ago, but then I forgot to hit the notification bell, so I am catching up on a few videos with her, and stitching on the queen, so that's what we're getting up to right now, and getting it, Y'all knew what I meant. Whatever. Um, 
yeah, so I will hopefully do a couple more check-ins today because today will be the last one for this vlog. So, all right, see you soon. Okay, so last check-in. Um, it is Monday, May the 11th at about 8.30 in the morning because by the time I got done stitching last night, um, it was too dark up here and I could have filmed in the bathroom, but boyfriend was already in bed, so that would have been weird because he definitely would have heard me. <laughs> so um, I just waited, but that is okay. So last night, or yesterday in general, what did I do? I um, started out working on the queen that was from ink circles that's what she looks like so I am almost done I got um, all of the green done so there yeah I think you can see there are two different shades of green and I got both of those done um, and then I was going because I do have all of the colors that I pulled for this but uh, I was talking to Alma from Alma's Little Wonders at the time while I was working on this and um, we were talking about changing the flowers and we ended up, well, I ended up picking uh, Roy uh, purple. Oh my gosh, focus. <laughs> I want to do the flowers in purple instead of red because purple is a color of royalty um, and I think that would be awesome. I'm really enjoying like imagining it with purple flowers instead of the red um yeah so as soon as i get home i am going to um back to my apartment i'm going to pick some purples and um that'll be a finish because i just have to do the flowers and the crinic uh, for the crown and i already have the crinic in here so that won't be difficult um, so, okay, so this was the other thing that I totally forgot to mention. So, I have been doing Stitchopoly with semi-sane stitchers. So, um, I used this for at least a couple tasks on there. And then, or tasks, a couple of the rolls um, that I did. Whew. I don't know if I explained this in this vlog clip or not, but Stitchopoly is a game that's... Uh, hosted by semi-sane stitchers it's a facebook group and it's basically a stitchy fun version of monopoly <clears throat> so um yeah so i'm playing that and i used it for that and then the actual reason or there were two reasons i picked this up yesterday um i didn't want to burn out on snape after getting so much work done in one day i wanted to make sure that i didn't hit burnout so um, which was fine because i didn't really want to work on him yesterday anyway so uh, I picked up Ink Circles. Amy, that night, Amy and I had been talking about, um, words. We had been talking about uh, Magical Stitches homework. She brought it up because we were talking about challenges. And um, so the homework for this week is to pick a project or multiple projects and do a thousand stitches so um, you're supposed to do it in increments of 100 but I'm not posting over there so I was like let's just get a thousand stitches I was gonna do it all in ink circles but then I put it down because I don't have the purples with me so I got 725 stitches in on it and then I decided to finish the rest of my stitches on um, May Kanitha by Yanni Stitcher. So I did just over 300 stitches on this, um, or maybe just under 300. Anyway, I, I would have finished the thousand for sure. But I, um, I had a couple of colors in these, uh, I'm calling them granny squares because that's what they look like to me. But um, I had a couple of colors up here that I needed to do. I think the yellow and the blue. So I did those. Uh, I continued just a little bit with some red because I had to finish some of that. And then I, um, some of the blue I still had left over, so I used down here. And then I started in with the outline of her dress because I figured if I get the outline of her dress done, I can kind of jump around 
to all of the different spots in here because there are a bunch of these uh, granny squares over in her dress. So I'm going to try to get some of the big outlines done for those so that as I pick up each color I can just kind of jump around to everywhere that it needs to be. But I did get the outline done and that's done also in the uh, DMC 4240 which is what the border is in also. So I'm really excited. I'm, I'm getting somewhere on this. A little bit of progress every once in a while. Um, yeah, so that's been fun. So there's still, there's a butterfly on this side and a butterfly over here where this needle minder is. And there's a big one in the center. And then uh, these two that are on the sides are kind of just repeated down here. I'm loving it. I'm super excited. I still don't know yet whether I'm going to give her a face or not. So that is that. Um, have I worked on this one during this rotation? I'm not sure. Um, I, I don't remember. I really don't. So in the event that I haven't, this is Mexicanita by Yanni Stitcher. Uh, she is Yanni Novoa on Instagram. It'll um, be linked and you just message her to, um, to buy one of her patterns. So yeah, this is on 30 count Weeks Dye Work Corn Silk Linen. A needle minder I got from a Michelle Bendy auction. And I'm using all the called for DMC. This is also a variegated. It's also DMC. I love it. Y'all can see the variegation very well there. It goes between a brown and a gray. It's just gorgeous. But yeah, so that's what I uh, worked on yesterday, and that's literally all I did. Uh, yeah, I turned in kind of early last night. I was just tired from staying up the night before, so I went to bed before midnight, and that was wonderful. So um, I think the only other thing that I needed to mention was the total stitch count. I'm going to hop on Instagram because I put it there and I don't remember. So the total after uh, May the 10th, at the end of May the 10th, is 6,599 stitches out of 31,000. So I'm doing pretty okay. I Snape, Snape and, um, oh, so, oh, sorry y'all. So yesterday was also, um, was also a day that I actually got 1,000 stitches in. I think I did 1,014, 1,013. Uh, stitches yesterday, so that was fun. I got a thousand stitches two days in a row. I think it's kind of funny because I'm not working or anything, but <laughs> I still had to wait until the weekend to get my thousand stitches in a day, so that's fine. Um, but yeah, so theoretically, <laughs> I'm supposed to be doing a thousand stitches a day, and I'm at 6,600 basically, so I'm mm, a little bit over like three days behind, four days behind. I think I can catch up. Um, oh man, struggles. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I think I'm going to get a lot of work done on Snape today. We're going to see. I am very much feeling Snape today. So um, I am going to go ahead and end this vlog. Thank you all for hanging out and um, checking in as always and commenting, liking, subscribing. All the all the great stuff um, yeah it's really nice to interact with y'all and hang out with the community so looking around I don't think I don't know why I'm looking over there there's nothing over there that's my stuff um, okay so on that note I hope that everyone stays safe I hope you're doing well um, I hope everyone had a, a really great Mother's Day and um, yeah, I hope we are getting lots of crafting done and enjoying Mania. So until a stitch with me, or craft with me, who knows, I don't know what I'll be doing, knitting or stitching. Um, but until then, happy crafting y'all.